Hi everyone, it's Devine from The Minimal Sort and welcome back to my channel. This week we went to Daiso Japan and Miniso Japan and again we're going to see how we can organise on a budget. This week we spent around 15 kd um, and thoroughly enjoyed shopping in both shops. Um, amazing experience as always. Um, so if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe down below um, and also feel free to give me a cheeky thumbs up if you like the video. So let's go. Arabic so I can't actually tell you exactly what I brought from the receipt but what I do know is that I spent 14 kd 600 again the conversion will be at the bottom on average I spent 1 kd which is about £2.50 on each item that I brought Miniso if you're familiar with Japanese high street and small organizing things is a bit like home bargains or it's a bit like Primark everybody loves Primark now I think I got some fantastic buys. Um, me and my husband were travelling to Dubai this weekend, so everything that I brought from both stores um, were kind of to help us with our trip and the packing. Um, first thing was this. It looks like a mini Beats pill. Now, there was no tag on it, but the sound's amazing. This bad boy I brought for our toothbrushes and our toothpaste. Um, we normally always use Ziploc bags. Um, it's convenient, you can reuse them. I've been looking for a really chic one of these and I thought this was amazing. I loved the colour as well. I also like the little sound it makes when you open it. Amazing. So definitely going to be using this when we go to Dubai this weekend. Um, I also brought a soap dish. I don't know why they call it a soap box holder. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, but. We were desperately in need of another one of these. This five piece travel kit for our trip to Dubai this weekend. Um, there are two small pots and three bottles. And there's also inside Okay. It's embarrassing. Oh, I broke it. Well it's not a good start really. scoop in this. Well anyway, I bought a portable cosmetics bag, a planner. Now I have a planner for my organising, a planner for work and a planner for general day-to-day -day life. I'm going to test this planner for a week and see how I get on um, and see if it's actually useful. It cost 1kd250 which is a bargain. The ones I have from Paper Chase cost me around £10 each um, and I brought a planner, to-do list, everything. That's expensive. £3.50, such an amazing buy. So again, I'm going to do a video and try this for a week and see how I get on. The other thing that I bought from Minnesota that I'm going to do a review for you guys is vacuum storage bags. Now, the reason I brought these, I actually want to compare them to the Interdesign one. As I mentioned last week, I love the Interdesign brand, but I was really drawn to the fact that these also have this vacuum sealer. The Interdesign one just tells you to use your Hoover or your vacuum. So what I liked was the fact that this vacuum sealer was right next to the vacuum bags in the store. Great visual merchandising. And it's only 650 fills. That's a bargain. Um, now, in this pack, I think you only get one vacuum bag. Yeah, one large storage vacuum bag for 650 fills. Again, a bargain. The last things I brought were a packing cube. Again, we're going to go to Dubai this weekend, so I'm going to put all of my things and all of Khaled's things in these bags um, and show you how we pack for our trip. The cube series that I got from Miniso, I got this large um, pouch, this medium sized pouch and two laundry kits. So I'm going to put these inside the suitcase. To give you a quick overview of what I've packed, I've got seven dresses inside here. I've got 22 pairs of underwear, two sets of pyjamas, and a swimsuit in here. So overall, I've got a lot from Miniso, and one more time. Oh, 
I can't actually find the receipt in the Daiso bag because the sales associate was so rude. I don't even remember what I did with it because I left really angry. Um, but if I remember correctly, I think I spent around 14 kg from there as well. from Daiso were these Ziploc bags. I actually got three different sizes. I got the small, the medium, and the large. I use the small ones for tights in my closet, which I'm gonna show you. Now, I always find that tights decide to fill the legs that they have and walk right out of the house. Um, or the washing machine eats them, I'm not entirely sure. But these separate them um, and I write on them so I know which types are what. So what the size is, um, what the pattern, the style is, the brand, and it just keeps the kind of sock and tight straw organized. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I use these, but yes, I bought three sets. So this is where I would usually keep all of my socks, tights, and stockings. I recently decluttered this whole area and got rid of everything that was old, um, and just refreshed and replenished with a lot of just new tights. Um, it tends to get really hot here, so I don't get to wear tights as much as I would in the UK. So I only have a few. Um, what I do is I put them in Ziploc bags and I label them with my label maker so I put the denier the size and the color um, and I'm using the Ziploc bags that I got from Daiso the other day so these are a size small and I use my Dymo Letra Tag label maker to just create simple labels that can easily be printed and then stuck. The other thing I brought which I want to try are these dividers I brought Two, the skinny ones and the not so skinny ones. I use the IKEA brand with clients because it's something that I've tried and I believe in. I love IKEA um, and I really like the quality. I'm going to try these. Already they feel a bit flimsy. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not convinced. But again, I'm going to give them a go. I, the reason I brought these small ones, a lot of my clients have used these before in their homes and I've always replaced them um, with alternatives because I've not believed in the quality. I'm going to give them a, uh, a try in my own house and see how I get on. Vacuum storage bags. Now, I'm going to do a video and compare all three. The ones from Daiso, the one from Miniso and the one from Interdesign. These didn't come with a suction. Um, which I didn't like, but I'm going to try them. One thing I hate about these stores, everything's in Japanese and I have no idea what it says. I also bought some travel organisers. This one has four bottles, two pots and a little scoop for your cream. The other things I bought from Daiso were these tiny little acrylic and perfect organisers. This is the last amazing buy. Drum roll, please. Two boxes. Um, now, I have brought these before, but from a different place here called Afkari. They're a little bit more expensive in Afkari. These are 600 fills. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the size, but I have some of the Afkari ones already, so I'm going to compare them. I absolutely love both stores, so I would find it really hard if I was to compare them, but in my opinion, Miniso has more to offer. There is a section for everything you would possibly need. There is a section for the children. There is a section for the home, the bathroom. There's even a gym section. It's so easy to get carried away there. I would highly recommend going to Miniso or looking for a Miniso if you're planning to organize your home on a budget. The products, the offering they have there is amazing. They and I like the fact that it's not overkill with the plastic there. There's different varieties. So a lot of their organizers are fabric, which is really, uh, really nice. Um, so yeah, overall, I really liked this shopping experience. Um, it was fun.
The next video, I will be revealing my secret to cabin size suitcase packing. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content.